I'm Marianne Grady Flores, and I'm here at the gate of the Naval Station Kings Bay Trident Nuclear Submarine Base. We're at the entrance with a huge crowd of uh, folks on the witness on Nagasaki Day. And I'm standing with Jim Haber from the, uh, well, you tell oh, us. I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, and I came out here to Georgia to support the Kings Bay Plowshare 7 because I know a bunch of them. I've been an anti-nuclear activist and from there expanded into other causes because they're all one. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just seemed important to come here because uh, it's Hiroshima and Nagasaki Day and we all need to up our ante. So instead of going to Lawrence Livermore National Lab where people demonstrate and I demonstrate, it felt important to kind of come and and journey and be with other activists from around the country because the threat of nuclear war is greater than ever, worse than ever. And right here, the Trident submarine is the, the worst weapon, the most horrific weapon ever created. And we need to stand against it and somehow rally, uh, rally people to see that this is a crime and an affront to the effort of peace. There's no way peace can come from nuclear weapons. It's, it's a, an absurd contradiction and uh, we need to somehow unmesmerize people and, and see that. And that's why I came this way. Jim, tell us uh, what your relationship is uh, to Plowshares' actions and maybe describe what that means. Um, well, I personally haven't done a Plowshares action. I've supported other Plowshares activists. I lived in Las Vegas with Nevada Desert Experience with Sister Megan Rice, who did uh, the Transform Now Plowshares. I've been friends with the Catholic Worker Movement, though I'm Jewish and a member of Jewish Voice for Peace. And again, all, all efforts are one. So if you'd like more information, please come to our website, which is uh, Kings Bay Plowshares, P-L-O-W-S-H-A-R-E-S, number seven dot O-R-G. Thank you.